The United States has a reputation for being the land of opportunity. The American dream is the ideal that every U.S. citizen has an equal opportunity to achieve success and prosperity through hard work, determination, and initiative. The ability to move upward in social class or economic position is a defining feature of the American dream. Yet recent public opinion polls indicate that many Americans are losing confidence in the essential fairness of the system and their opportunities for financial advancement. Recently, public perceptions of a staggering social mobility and increased inequality between social classes have become topics of contention in modern American politics. Say the American dream is dead. I don't disagree with them. The American dream is dead, but we're going to make it bigger and better and and stronger than ever before. Bringing together millions of people from every corner of our country to say with one voice that we believe that the American dream is big enough for everyone, for people of all races and religions, for Every day, Democrats and Republicans are becoming more and more polarized through rhetoric and fringe politics. Democrats advocate for more social programs for the poor, more funding for public education, and a public health care system. Republicans, on the other hand, advocate for individual freedom, are believers in personal responsibility, and increased privatization and limited government. Each party has their own ideas of how to achieve the coveted American dream. The political polarization seen today begs the question whether political ideology is a factor in perceptions of upward social mobility. Previous research done by Chambers, Swan, and Hesacker, 2015, has found that those who identify as politically liberal underestimate the rate of social mobility. These results accounted for the relative dissatisfaction liberals feel towards the current social system, social hierarchies, and economic inequality. They found that mobility beliefs are divided and distorted along ideological lines. Another study by Krauss and Tan, 2015, found differing results. Their study found that Americans who were in higher social classes tended to overestimate social mobility. In order to close the gaps in existing literature, it is crucial to conduct more research. Identifying a possible relationship between perceptions of upward social mobility and political ideology could help identify ways to reduce polarization and deepen understanding of the opposing party's views, values, and beliefs. In the study I will be conducting, I hypothesize that those who hold a conservative ideology will be related to an overestimation of social mobility, while those who hold a liberal ideology will be related to an underestimation of social mobility.